Alright, so we're going to go ahead and finish up this flash site. Basically what you're going to want to do is go ahead and create the functions for each of these clicked events. So, function home clicked, function about clicked, down here, and function contact clicked. Now if you see, there's go to and stop, and then in parentheses, um, you need to do a quote, the name of the frame label that you're using, and then end quote, end parentheses, semicolon. Make sure it's go to and stop, because you don't want it to actually play, you just want it to stop at that frame. And then you do that with about clicked and contact clicked, and then you have your website. Here's the home, about, and then the contact page. So, so as far as that goes, uh, that's how you create a basic website. Instead of having little squigglies in here, you'd actually have your content. You can make the stage area um, bigger, and it wouldn't really be too big of a deal. Um, the best thing about this, though, is when you do stuff like this, you can use ActionScript in these functions to do cool stuff like make everything fly off the stage when you click onto a new uh, tab you basically just go okay well here we go when this is clicked make motion you know uh, some motion tweens or even shape tweens to make it look like everything's just jumping off the stage then um, when it gets to the new frame or the new page like you're an about page you make everything look like it's jumping or flying back in with cool swirlies, spinning effects, whatever you want to do. Um, it is it is very positive, um, very common to have that sort of animation on a Flash website. As a matter of fact, it's kind of what most people expect because of the fact that you have some some really cool things that you can do with Flash. And if you didn't use them, then what is the the whole point of using Flash for a website when you could have just used HTML. Anyway, so that's basically an introduction. I'll probably do a reflection class next. There is a nice reflection class out there available to everyone, and I'll kind of explain how to use that a little bit. So it'll allow you to reflect movies or just static things and give you that kind of Mac OS X look. Um, I don't know how well you guys can see this, but um, these are all all these icons are actually reflected. So um, it gives you that really nice glass look. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks again for watching.